Who is she? What is this? Who are they? What is this life? These feelings? This vibe? Let's see. Art. Mm -hmm. Art. <laughs> this summer. This summer, quickly cascading into fall, has brought me many gifts. I'm sitting in the deepest gratitude for them. I write this as I'm drinking in the most exquisite sunset, accompanied by clouds I could swear must have been delicately painted into the sky by the most dedicated artist. A vision crafted with the greatest love an artist receiving so much and gratefully giving. This summer, quickly cascading into fall, has brought me so many gifts. <laughs> Sorry, I'll let you unfrump. So why are you frumpy today? Why are you frumpy today? I'm not frumpy today, I'm just frumpy today. Oh, what you said you might still be frumpy. So you changed your mind? I was doing that moment, I was still unfrumpy. Oh. You just frumped now. Oh, okay, he's deep now. Mm -hmm. But he's just in the process of calling me an old lady. <laughs> 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 now he changed his name, he called me an old broad. Okay. Um but it's because I like this dress and might show you, but he said I was made for the 50s uh, because of my taste. But anyway, are you excited to find a fit today? Ooh, these are cute. Okay, bye now. But I like the, you see the design on it? My behavior would have made me a nice crispy summer since I feel alive and the closest thing I've experienced as fully embodied as my most organic self in a long time. Still not quite there all the way. And yet, at the same time, it's creeping into my consciousness that maybe there is no all the way. There's whatever way I am, day by day. So it rained, not just any rain, a thunderstorm. So now we are taking refuge in our car. Weather alert is still going. Mom's hiding up there in the front seat. Uh, so we're back here partially naked. The weather alert just got me. Uh, we got soaked. We then took shelter. Okay. We took shelter on a bus that was meant to be a cooling station and that it was, so we froze soaking wet. This most recent season of life has brought me to better choosing, or at least that's what I'm calling it. I've been in what seems like a lifelong qualm with labeling and the seeming human fixation to label, describe, and articulate. 
I understand it as a means of connection, to communicate, but it feels like it's evolved or even dissolved into more than that. Something that feels or has felt detrimental to me many days. Something that has whisked me from the present and barricaded me in mind, cycling through thought, ideas, words, most of which haven't even felt like my own. And yes, I fully enjoy and laugh at the contradiction, the irony I now participate in, attempting to put all this into words. Why? To connect. To connect, to empty, create space within myself. Now, and maybe later. To make up for all the experience, we stopped at Silver Diner to get shit. To connect with those I love, to connect with, maybe, someone else who can relate. The space I'm existing in feels more and more weightless the more I surrender to it. It feels like my mother's hug, gentle kiss atop my head, and whisper of, I love you, baby girl. You are love. The look was my love that arises vibrations that seem to become tactile and feel a way that births laughter, joy, and causes Zen to rise and wiggle his way to us, seeming to say we are one and I love that we love this way. Moments feel magical once more. Back to regarding everything as play. What I've been regarding as my child, inner child, truly seems to simply be me. Me without judgment, at play, following my heart and curiosity, welcoming and living life as it comes, instead of the poor hyperfixation with scripting out, micromanaging, with the attempt to control and know what life will unfold for me. Just as the Grinch's heart grew in size in Whoville, the ego swole within me, wreaking havoc. Now, standing amid the ashes and desecration of a beautiful disaster, 
that's gifted me fresh air and the holistic joy, the wonder of Whoville. A Christmas celebration because Christ is within consciousness, my soul. I've toiled in surreal anguish for over a decade, looking for God, feeling failed by the church, seeking salvation in things, alternate gods, people, other ideas, potential, all to be brought back to myself, honoring and awakening in my relationship with God. The kingdom of God is within you. Luke 17, 21. I am. Since 2016, I've feared saying I no longer identify as Christian. And now, I sit here, no longer loathing my Christian rearing. So we're venturing back out today. Appreciate the sentiments that still resonate, freely releasing what doesn't. I've applied the same rigor and various practices I was instilled with in church. Some rain clouds already. See over there. It's looking a little dark, but we gon' see. to support me in the current leg of my journey I find myself in. I'm feeling wonderfully integrated. I've been blessed with so many moments of feeling in complete flow, oneness with the isness. No longer in search of who I am, but uncovering, peeling back the layers, emerging, ensuing, embracing. A few days ago, while I was soaking in the tub, I felt washed with this sensation that translated into the words, I feel nostalgia for recent history, for this moment. I think I now know that maybe that sensation is deep-seated gratitude, peace with and for what is and has been gratitude for my present experience of a soothed soul amid much change. Wow. Hey. hey. This is so cool. Something I long thought impossible for me. The stillness that tiptoes in and bathes me unexpectedly, moment to moment, feels so welcoming now. Just last week, it felt like an attack, a threat. The ego didn't know what to do with this spacious and invitation to simply be. This experience had become too foreign and is now returning to sweet friend, breath to breath. Reminding myself it's okay to slow, savor. Tomorrow will attend to tomorrow. For now, only today has me and tomorrow never will. Because, you know, it never comes. It arrives today. My playground has grown internally and externally. My friendships expanded, my heart thumping gladness I feel compelled to share with all of life. Recently, I shared in deep belly laughs with my mom and love, embarked on new adventures with my family, seen formerly sullied souls in new light, grown in patience and grace, 
I've taken note of the fact that I am a part of some truly wonderful friendships, something I've been calling in for what feels like my whole life. Now, presently aware of them, incapable of showing up and truly participating in them, honoring them. These seemingly new leaves within me changing as the ones adorning the trees do feel so right in this moment. To end and begin, to die and awaken new life. Welcome to Nostalgia for Recent History, chronicling of my current life swim. Free my soul. 